Hey guys, what's up? It's App06 here, and today I'll be showing you guys a cool tweak available in Cydia right now. Um, while it's not exactly brand new, I did think it was important to make a video on it, and just in case you were wondering, that is the icon for it right there. So we'll go ahead and launch it up, and I'll just give you a quick tour of the app and then get into um, the font changing. It says, if you couldn't tell already, the font has already changed because I am running a different font on my device. Um, right here and here are your different fonts. Um, there are other fonts in City. I believe there are a lot of them, at least over 100 that you can go ahead and download. Also you can go into your advanced tab, where you can set specific fonts for the dialer, dialer slash calculator, keyboard, lock screen, notes, and system, which pretty much covers everything that I'll show in the later part of the video. And then you have more and about. So you can go ahead and view the about screen. So. Let's go ahead and select a different font. I'm currently running Akbar, but if you want to go ahead and try another font, we could try Lafayette Comic Pro. And if we hit the blue arrow, we can even get a quick preview of it just to see what it looks like before we apply it. So there it is right there. It looks very nice. Let's go ahead and apply it. So we're going to hit yes, and we will let our device respring. I will get, get back to you guys once my device, All right, my device has resprung. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. So if we go ahead and slide to the left, we can notice that we do have a different th um, font as we did select a different font. We're going to go ahead and launch up settings to show you that the text just does change throughout. So at the bottom right here, even the small text right there does change. And then you have, um, of course, your normal text throughout the settings application. Now it's also pretty cool to note that it does work in most other applications. Um, some do have specific fonts, but it does work in nearly all the applications, including ones like Stocks, um, where you can see even the numbers are themed to the font. So we can even go ahead and launch up an application like Twitter. Um, we'll go ahead and launch up Twitter here, and you can see that it does even change the font right here. You can go ahead and scroll through, and the font changes, or it, the font stays the same. In addition, we could try another App Store app like Reader, and you can tell that the font also changes in the app reader, which is, by the way, a really good RSS reader in case you are looking for one for your iPhone. So definitely go ahead and check out Reader. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, you can go ahead and go into Byte Font and change your fonts, like I said earlier, for specific reasons. You can have a different uh, dialer, dial, dialer slash calculator, my bad, font, or you can go ahead and leave it all the same. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it all the same. So now I'll go ahead and show you how to get it in Cydia. All you have to do is go ahead and launch up Cydia, and we're going to go ahead and cancel the refresh here, and then we're going to go ahead and search for by default. And as you can see, by default pops up right there. It's in the Mod My Eye repo, and it's really easy to install. Now, if you're looking for some fonts, um, the ones that do not come with it, which there aren't that many, you can go ahead and go to the font section and browse through the let's see, I believe 220 fonts for the um, iPhone and iPad. So just go ahead and check out those fonts um, and you can go ahead and view screenshots of them before you install them. So that is by default, not much else to it, but it is um, simple yet really cool. A lot of these jailbreak tweaks are that simple and there really isn't much else to talk about them except that they are really cool and useful for those who prefer a different font on your iOS device. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. Also, go ahead and add me on uh, Game Center. I won't go ahead and get a launch up, but go ahead and add me as a friend on Game Center. And also, check out iOS 4 Beta, either up there in the description for access to the latest iOS 4.3 Beta and the upcoming iOS 5 Beta. Um, so, if you do want to test out the next major release, go ahead and buy your spot now. Um, as spots will be tougher to buy when the time comes by. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.